Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glamper Camper. We are sitting in a deflated Tobin Sports inflatable kayak from Costco. We did do a review video on this quite a while ago. We just want to say a quick thank you very much to everyone that watched. That is our most popular video ever on our YouTube channel with 30,000 views so far. But there has been a couple questions and normally I just kind of type a response, but today I actually want to give a little demonstration response. We have some questions about the pump that comes with the kayak. So we've got a question from George Lane here, and I just wanted to make a quick video about it. Now, I did speed it up in the original video, but there are just some questions about how the pump gets put together. Now, thankfully, each one of our kayaks came with a pump, and I only needed to open one, obviously, to make the original video. So we have another one right here that has never been opened that we are going to open and put together and put the batteries in it and everything. And I'm not going to speed this one up this time. Here is the pump, let's open it up. So this is the actual pump itself and attached to it comes the batteries. You can just slide it right off and then you get the tube. Now I'm not quite sure which fitting needs to come off, but we will find out hopefully. Now the first thing is you just have to open this up. Now I'm just gonna use this end right here to twist it off. And then it comes right out like that. And then you just load in the batteries. So here are the batteries. And we just want to thank everyone again for all of the love and the support on our original review video. It has been a really fun experience. Now, if I could just figure out how to put these in here. I have not done this in a very long time. I believe it just clips in like that. You don't even need both of them, I don't think. And then you just insert it. And once you get it pushed back down there, and I do not recall having this much trouble the first time. Let me see if I've got a little screwdriver. I did not think I had this much trouble. There, I just tightened it in. Huh, maybe I'm the wrong person for this video. Let me retry. Now I did figure out how to put both batteries in, but it will not turn on. So let me check if, let me get my other pump out that I've already opened. Maybe this pump is bad or these batteries are bad. So my other one is turning on just fine. So we are going to open it up and see what it looks like in there. And it is both batteries in the same exact way as I just put them in the new one. So all you do, put the batteries in just like that. One goes in top, one goes in the bottom. Now let's try this in here. We're gonna push it down like that. And then we are going to tighten it. Geez, what a bummer. This pump does not work, does not turn on. So what we'll do, is we'll twist this back out and we are going to put it onto the new pump. Here we go. It is a little bit difficult to put in there, but I mean, once you get it in there, there's not really a reason to take it out. So we're just gonna twist that on. Oh, great. Now that I just took it out, now this one won't turn on either. It just turned on a minute ago. Okay, I just realized what it is. I'm not sure if this is the problem that you were having, but it's the problem I just realized I was having. One side of this has the open batteries. The other side has this line right here. The open batteries have to line up with that little metal pronged thing right there. So even though it fits the exact opposite way, it has to go in with the metal open batteries going towards the screen. And then see, you can see it turned on. So now we are going to tighten that down and it comes on. How great is that? Now that I know that's the problem, let's try to put the new batteries in the new pump. So we've got the open side of the batteries and look at that, came right on. Geez, I don't remember ever having to figure this out when I first tried these, but I guess there's no time like now. 
Now the other question about the fitting that has to come off, I'm really not sure what fitting is being talked about because as you can see, the ends of this hose are the same as the hose that I've already used. So I'm not sure what fitting needs to be taken off. But to finish your pump, all you do is twist on this end. And then you just insert this into whichever hole you're filling up and pump it up. For instance, we'll fill up one of these. So this one, it tells you which hole to pump up first, and it says the max PSI is 0 0.8. So, there's two things that can unscrew. There's the big one, and then there's just a little cap on top of that. So that cap right there can unscrew, and then you can push it in like that. So you're just going to push it in, and then turn on your pump. Now that said 0 0.8 PSI, so now as you pump, it's going to tell you how much PSI is in it. You'll have to pump for a long time. So, so far we're still at zero PSI, but this is starting to move. So as you can see, the end of our kayak is starting to pump up this side and it is still reading zero PSI, so it's gonna take a lot. Xena came back. The nice thing about this is it's super easy. You don't even need both feet and you definitely don't need both hands. So take a look at that. It's already this full and it's still zero. So we've got a long ways to go. So as you can see now, it's this far inflated and it's 0 0.03, so we need to get to 0 0.08. So each pump down is, once you get this far, is about half of a 0 0.1 or a 0 0.1. And there we are at 0 0.8. And this side of our Tobin Sports inflatable kayak is inflated. So like I said, there's no fitting that I had to take off. I'm not sure if maybe some people got a slightly different model or if their hose looks different than mine. But this is how our Tobin inflatable kayak with our pump works. Now you can just take this out and look at that. No air is coming out.
because I think it has something to do with this thing opens up where the air goes in. Now you just screw this on and you are good to go once you follow the numbers to inflate the rest of your kayak. So to George Lane, thanks again for watching our original video and thank you very much for asking your question. I hope that this little video is um, giving you a little bit of an answer. I still am not sure what fitting would need to come off of the hose, but this is how our inflatable kayak works. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Definitely check out our first video right up here for our original review on our Tobin Sports inflatable kayaks here that we got at Costco. Definitely, definitely, definitely go check out Costco and see if you can find one that's in stock. And I would say buy it up right away because these things are super, super cool. Get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one.